Hello, this is my uh, So You're New to GTA Online video. This is only, I put down as part one because of I just thought I'd cover the main tutorial on this one and then I'll show you how to get going as a, a proper uh, earning decent amount of money. Um, on the second part, I'm thinking about continuing this if there's enough interest in it. Uh, with other ones, really get you raking in the money. But as you can see on the screen now, you start off with four million assuming you're not important a character which is a, the point of this video is the complete starter so the first thing you'll get asked is what sort of business do you want to become now there's a couple of ones that are worth doing which is your biker because you've got a few businesses that will run in the background whilst you're doing other stuff and they'll make you money uh, or at least help make you money anyway and gun runner which has one business but it makes you more money on that one than a couple of the other ones put together on the biker um, you have nightclub just not worth worrying about really because unless you've got all of your biker businesses and the gun runner it doesn't really make you any money and if you go executive then it will make you quite good money but it's only the work you put into it there's no passive income on there and then once you've decided which one you want which I've gone for gun runner because like I say it's a single business it's going to make you more money to start with on its own than a couple of motorcycle ones which obviously the less work you have to do on that the more you can put into the more fun parts of the game and um, also make money on those anyway so what do you need to do you definitely want to upgrade your uh, staff and um, uh, machines and that inside there uh, trying to think what they call it but yeah um don't have to buy the mobile operation center but it will help you earn some money shortly uh, not to start with there um and obviously you get your guns pretty much everything else in there isn't worth doing on the on the vehicle if you the night shark's not too bad but it's quite expensive the karuma is pretty much bulletproof and uh, well it is bulletproof and um and it's a fast car compared to most of the other ones there all the others are if you like them then they're worth having but they're not they're not like anything that's going to get you a lot of money in races or anything because none of them are great top races uh home missile and i uh, chose and this gun i'm trying to think what it's called there you go this the combine special went or special combine <coughs> and a decent shotgun and um well, you need a pistol so you can shoot out the car when you're in it, but the pistols they offer you here are, are both rubbish. You really want to get yourself an AP pistol as soon as possible, but once you've bought as much as I've bought here, you don't have enough money to go and buy it, so you've got to go and earn some money to get your AP pistol. Once you're happy with your selected items and your career path, move al along to um, summary and confirm it all. If you think you've got the wrong one, then you can always just keep pressing circle until you go back as long as you haven't actually started a career uh, then it's creating a character to create a character screen is a bit weird to do with selecting your heritage and that but once you're finally done do it i pretty much won't be randomized um it'll put you so that you're walking out of a police station like you just come out of a jail and then you'll get a message from your uh, mechanic and bring your car to you you do get i think it's a penambra but if you, hopefully you bought the Karuma because the Karuma's a much better starter car and it'll probably do you for quite a long time actually because of the bulletproof things very useful in missions so you come here pick up your weapons that have been stashed I'm assuming it's always here you'll get in a small fight with the local uh, gang members and then you have to get to your business so it's good to get straight back in your uh, Karuma if you're assuming you bought it then um, you go to your, your, hopefully you've got the bunker, like I say, that's the one that's going to take up the least amount of your time, get you the best return out of the first starter options. Um, I chose the Route 68 one because of when I do start doing the drug smuggling stuff as well, then um, there's a base of operations right next to it, and so having them, next to, having them next to each other makes it a little bit easier. doesn't make that much difference, but yeah. And it's only worth buying the um, personal quarters in one or the other because they're right next to each other. So it saves you a bit of money. You'll get a tour around this facility and then you've just got to do a quick mission to get the initial supplies. The initial supplies will show you as being a full 
load that it can take but it's nowhere near it it doesn't make you much money but you can sell it and start making money to get other ones to start with it's worth doing the supply missions to get going so the supply missions you go to a certain point pick up a truck or car with the supplies in it bring it back the first one straightforward there you go because you're in a tutorial section anyway so no one no non -play, uh, no players are going to attack you and there's no non players going to attack you either um after that when you go out on the mission you will get definitely attacked by the npcs um either at their collection point or on your way back they'll be chasing you but also the players in that lobby will get a notification that you're carrying it around and they can get some money for taking it off yeah uh, or destroying it rather um some businesses mainly like the car import export one um they can actually steal the car and take it to their own one so you can do a lot of the work for them so that becomes a real target but that's it pretty much now you've done your thing um you go to the main so you go to a free roam not the, you know, the proper game and you'll be able to see all your upgrades in here and work out what to do and my next video will be telling you all about what you want in here and what you should be doing next Hopefully you found this useful or interesting. Um, if you did, please leave a like uh, and also, you know, message me with something in the comments. And if you want to see the second part to this, which we'll definitely be making, is a uh, then subscribe. And if you see, if you get enough interest, I'll continue making these about how to get yourself all set up properly. Um, thanks for watching.